hadn't played a bunch, then all of a sudden you're cast into the lineup and things aren't perfect. And I'm going to give Tice a, a bit of advice right here. Go play hard. Do the dirty work. Rebound as Julius Randle hits the threes because that's who Daniel Tice is. At this juncture of the season, it would have been the Cavs at 12th in the East and not where they are. And the Knicks, well, they're struggling. People are unhappy. And it's a feeding frenzy right now in New York. You know, if you don't put a body in front of him, or there's not a guy about 6'11", 7 feet, he's going to have a feeling. Look at Eric Gordon down here guarding Randall. A really good move by Randall. Yeah. Yeah, he had a couple good years with the Rockets back in the day. Yeah, look at man. I'm telling you. Randall for three over Tate. And that's what the Knicks need. You value those points in a very close ball game. They go right back to Randall working on Tate. Ducks in. Goes glass. Gets his own miss. Had it blocked by Tice. Tate on the push. Gordon, D3. And that's what makes Eric Gordon tough to guard because still in his own look here for Coach Steven Silas. Fournier had a toe on the line. That's a long two. If we make one or two passes, we get anything we want uh, against the defense of the Knicks. And, you know, defensively, all right, Fournier had been playing great. He's filling it, okay? Quickly draws two. Here's Randall from the wing. And another three for the New York Knicks. That's Randall's third. Check out some good basketball. Don't, don't stay out too late then on New Year's Eve, Ron. Craig, you, you, you know I don't go. Got to work on, we got to work that night. Got to work the next day. <laughs> Ooh, oh, goodness. wow. Tate, back to Gordon. Slithers into the paint. Misses. Tap right, no good as well. And then the leak out and the pass well over the head of Fournier. And energy is important because the Knicks are trying to bring it. They are physical, Craig. Randall, he had a step on Tate. He's able to score. One of three Knicks in double figures. Christopher to KJ, into the paint, one on two. No, got his own miss, put it back up. No good there. In this third period, Tice has been very good, and Noel stops him there. Uh, more shot blocking from New York. That's Noel's second, the Knicks fourth, and there's a three. Here comes Gordon penetrating into the paint. Nowhere to go with it. Threw it back and threw it right to McBride. The outlet to Randall. Has Fournier, takes it himself and finishes. McBride might be sore after that, though. But McBride has had a very good game. Yes, he has. Fournier, the running bank shot. And they've done it to get back into this ball yep. game. Since that seven minute of the second quarter, they most definitely have. Tice, my goodness, turned over, swarmed. Come into his office and sign a picture he has of Rudy squaring off with his dad. Coach Silas said Rudy, along with countless other former NBA players. When you drive and you, they feel like you're under control, they fan back out to their men and don't give you any type of passing outlets. That's Coach Thibodeau there. Quickly. He just tied his career high. Six triple. The biggest, strongest, longest, most athletic big out there, and he is showing it in this fourth quarter. Three-pointer and a loose ball foul against Burks. Tate misses. Quickly going for a new career high, and he gets it. Seven triples for Emmanuel quickly. Again, they were very good against the Warriors, but ended up losing the game because they shot it poorly from two. Oh, my goodness. Fighting over rebounds there. The Knicks, five straight wins over the Rockets for the first time since 1984. Yeah, well, that's the year I was born, but this was a veteran now, see, win. Now, see, see.